Hello one and all, this is Basil and I have made a project in a while, so here's one um, about Scratch 2.0. Obviously this is built in Scratch 1.4, the alpha has finished for Scratch 2.0 so I can't really get back into it. But this is about cloud databases and what I think they might be like in Scratch 2.0. So what I've done is I've made a little replica of what I think might be like, the kind of the theory behind what we might have to do to make databases. And this is it here. Any of the variables that I point out, if they have local on the end of them, then in Scratch 2.0 they would be normal variables. I should explain that in Scratch 2.0 uh, there will be cloud variables, i.e. clouds that keeps on the website servers and it can basically save data. So if you close down Scratch and then open it up again um, on the website, then the variable will still be the same. So that's what I mean by cloud. And so anything with cloud on the end of it obviously represents what would be a cloud variable or list at the end of the program in Scratch 2.0. Okay, so I'll just quickly walk through some of the theory behind what I think would be a Scratch 2.0 database, a cloud database. And what this is, this is a simulation of basically having different users making different accounts on a project and being able to access your account um, whenever you want. So you could make an account on the cloud, go away for five hours, close down your computer, open up your computer again, go back on the exact same project, and there you go, that you can access your account again, and different things like that. Um, so here I have um, an example of what users might be. So these are all different people stored on the cloud and so if I was if my ID was dancing pot then I would type in dancing pot and I would be logged in as dancing pot in my local and if I started to earn points then my score would go up on the cloud and say I wanted to run this project again um, say I wanted to close it down and start it up again I could then log back into dancing pot and I would still have my high school there and obviously you have other people who can also do this so what I have here is I have the basic system for logging in so what it does is it checks whether or not your ID is already on the cloud and if it's not then it makes you a new account so I'll just show you that there so I've just made a new account called Basil and if I wanted to score points on Basil's account, then obviously the points would go up here and I would have a new account. And if I restarted the project, then I could access that account again and I'd be back on Basil. So all this is, this is a basic simulation of what I think it might be like using some theory. So obviously because this is on the cloud, um, what would happen here is I would have... Um, something where you can literally just access it again which is a huge step um, forward for Scratch because if you're not really familiar with some of Scratch 1.4 features one of them is that you, everything in the project um, if you go away from the project, if you click away from the project and then you come back to it on the website then and when you boot up the project again it's exactly the same as when you first accessed it nothing changes but that's all going to change now because of clouds um, it's very exciting. In fact, there's also been some rumours that maybe it might be used for multiplayer, um, and I might go through the theory of that sometime as well. Um, the possibility of having multiplayer games in Scratch, which is very exciting, which obviously requires a lot more programming than this as well. But this is just some basic programming for um, a database and accessing, you know, different account system on Scratch 2.0 that we'll be able to use. If you want to download this, I'll put the link in the description so you can access this. And also, I put different annotations on the project uh, scripts. So if you want to know how I made this and why I did the different things in the scripts, then you can also access them and um, you know just check them out um, so you know why I did things and you'll be able to recreate this come Scratch 2.0. So yeah, thanks for listening.